Hello folks, welcome to the canal channel Jose. So today we're gonna talk about a, the topic about replacement. So there comes the time where something has to be replaced or changed and uh, some of these components on their cores are very critical. So we are gonna expose a few of the products or five products that we think or recommend that you should replace them with original, so OEM. So if it's a Toyota, buy the Toyota component and replace it with that uh, uh, component because sometimes trying to save some money, a small amount of money, can make you spend a lot of money on big repairs, and you don't wanna do that. And with that said, let's show you what we're talking about. So the first component that we're talking about is the thermostat. This component is very critical to be functioning in a normal status because the engine is regulating the temperature with this component. So if this component fails, your engine might overheat and you're gonna have a big problem. So these components are not replaced very often. So why you wanna spend uh, $20 less on a cheaper one when you can go buy the original one from, your ma from the car manufacturer that you're driving and throw their thermostat with better quality and at least it's not gonna fail sooner because if you throw, trying to save $20 on something that you're not gonna replace in a long time, throw the extra $20 into that good part that way you have a peace of mind that that component is not gonna fail sooner than you think. So these components are very critical. So if you throw a cheap thermostat in there from a, a random store, and then this thermostat is cheap built, and then that car starts overheating, then you gotta take the thermostat out again and throw another thermostat, and probably you're gonna buy the OEM brand, and you're gonna put it into your car, and now it's gonna cost you labor, and now you're gonna be buying the right part for the car. So why doing that the second time when you can start with the original part and save money and time by putting the original thermostat and avoid headaches. So another component that we talk about replacing it with the OEM is a water pump. These components are critical to the cooling system because if these components, if they're not doing a proper job, that your engine is gonna overheat and it's gonna create more heat than normal. And some of these components might be driven by the timing belt. So it takes a lot of effort to get to it, take it apart, take it off and put a new one. If you are already paying a lot of money to replace this component because of the labor, might as well throw the original OEM component in there. That way you avoid headaches with the cheap brand that you were gonna take in there. And it ends up that it was a, it was a cheap brand, it didn't, it started leaking, and now you gotta replace it again. So to avoid those headaches and extra waste of money, just start with the original one from the beginning and don't have to deal with it in a, such a long time because these don't get replaced, like we said, every, every often. So avoid to throwing cheap stuff in there and get the OEM for your car. Another component is that uh, the timing belt. These components are very critical to be functioning correctly because these components, they start drying up and then after so after 100,000 miles, these components start becoming part of the replacement uh, list. So if you're gonna replace a timing belt and you already getting into the water pump and sometimes these are driven, these drive the water pump and you have to remove this as well to get that water pump out, why not? throwing in a brand new OEM timing belt from the manufacturer of your car. So that way, instead of saving $20 on a timing belt and an auto parts that you, you don't know the brand, just get the OEM, expend the extra dollars, and you know that you're putting something approved by the dealer and that is not gonna fail as soon as you thought. So these belts are very critical because if they snap and you were trying to save $20 and they snap because they were cheap, now your engine is gonna be ruined and you're gonna be having to replace an engine and you're gonna spend more money than $20. So this is a transmission filter or strainer as you wanna call it. But we wanna say that we don't mess with transmissions. The reason being is because transmissions are very, very picky. And see, if you don't put something right, that transmission can ruin itself or it might not work right and you're not gonna know why. So that's why if you ever thinking of replacing the, the filter on the transmission, buy the one made for the car from the manufacturer. Because if you're trying to save $20, $30 at the auto parts and this filter starts clogging up because any reason the material that it was made with, you're going to have a bigger problem than just a filter. Now you have a bad transmission and it's going to cost you more than $30 that you were saving in the beginning 
So now you're going to be replacing a transmission and you're going to be without a car for a long time. So to avoid problems or avoid transmission issues, if you're thinking of doing service to the transmission, especially automatic transmission, buy the transmission filter made by your manufacturer of the car to avoid headaches and waste of money. And these filters don't get replaced too often. So if you're trying to save $20, this filter, you're probably going to change it once in a lifetime of the car and you're not going to ever change it again. So you spend that extra 20 bucks or 30 or $40 on that filter, but get the right one made for your car from the manufacturer. So we talk about the transmission filter or strainer. Now you got to change the fluid too. So why replacing it with the oil that is for transmission, automatic transmission, when you can replace it with the original transmission fluid that that transmission takes. So if you think this is gonna work and you're not sure about it and it just because it's transmission fluid, don't risk it. Just go for the oil that is recommended for your transmission by the manufacturer, buy it, spend the extra $10 per quart, but you know you're not gonna have any issues with it because the wrong fluid that you put in into the transmission. Because remember this, oils or this fluid doesn't get changed every other 10,000 miles. This gets changed about every 90,000 miles and that's when the service is done. So why trying to save $30 on something that you're going to have to replace at 90,000 miles? So those $30 that you save on this, that you didn't spend on this, is going to create a problem that where you're going to have to replace a transmission. Now you're going to put a couple thousand dollars on a transmission just because you didn't use the right oil. To avoid headaches, waste of time, and waste of money, use the right recommended oil for your transmission. Hopefully this info was useful and helpful because uh, these components don't get replaced too often. The thermostat, the water pump, the timing belt, the f uh, transmission filter, and the oil filter or the fluid for, for the, the fluid for the transmission don't get replaced every five, 10,000 miles. These components are a 90,000 mile services and, and above. So if you're trying to save 20, $30 in one of these components, remember you're not gonna change it in 5,000 miles. So you're gonna have to replace it at a 90,000 miles. So why trying to save 10, $20 on some uh, off brand uh, component that it can create a problem and then it's gonna put you to spend more than $20 or $30. So to avoid those problems or the waste of money, just go buy the OEM, replace it, and you don't have to worry about that component until like a 90,000 miles again. And by then you probably won't even have the car, but you made it last longer and didn't have to replace an engine just because you wanted to save 20 or $30. So with that said, folks, for friends who are watching the video, have to subscribe to our channel, please subscribe. If you like a video, give us a thumbs up, share it, and we'll see you soon with more videos here in the canal, El Chano Jose.